Hello, I'm Stephen Talent, president of Texas A&M University, Kingsville. Spring 2010 may be over. However, it will live on for many years to come thanks to our many successes and accomplishments. The semester started with the university being recognized as a national leader in producing Latino baccalaureates in science, technology, engineering, and math. A report from the USC Center for Urban Education named Texas A&M Kingsville among 25 leading institutions for increasing baccalaureate degrees among Latino students in these disciplines. The Environmental Engineering Program received recognition from U.S. News & World Report. The magazine ranked environmental engineering at A&M Kingsville 45th in the entire nation, one of only three such Texas programs on the list. Enrollment continued moving up. The total number of students rose over 6% from spring 2009 to spring 2010. We also saw our retention go up 4% from fall to spring. Spring 2010 saw the unveiling of our master plan. Project management consulting firm Broadus & Associates worked with the campus on a long-term vision of the university's appearance and organization. That exciting glimpse of the future was presented in a public presentation now available for view online. Our campus continued its expansion and development with the opening of the new Student Recreation Center. The campus community has turned out by the thousands to try out its modern equipment, basketball courts, and elevated running track. The Natural Toxins Research Center has been a leader in biomedical research related to venom for years. Now, its name reflects its broad scope of achievement. In spring 2010, the center was renamed the National Natural Toxins Research Center. It continues to be the only Viper Research Center in the country. More than 110 students took part in the inaugural Havelina Research Symposium. University students had the chance to display their research efforts through spoken or written presentations. Their work demonstrated the university's dedication to producing students with valuable real-world research skills. And there were a lot more student highlights in the spring. They included Laura Marie Ortiz was named Student Engineer of the Year by the Nueces County Chapter of the Texas Society of Professional Engineers. Diana Bullinger became the first A&M Kingsville student to receive the Undergraduate Scholar Award by the Texas Regional Chapter of the American College of Sports Medicine. Jazz Band One received the Outstanding Performance Award from Downbeat Magazine. Our faculty received their share of spring honors too. 28 faculty members were presented with the Texas A&M University System Teaching Excellence Award, the second most in the A&M system. Regents Professor Jackie Thomas was honored by the French Consulate with the Order of the Academic Palm, a French Order of Chivalry. Michael Tuis earned the George Mitch Sutton Award in Conservation Research by the Southwestern Association of Naturalists. Finally, the semester saw selections of more new members to our leadership team. Dr. Thomas Dock was named Dean of the College of Business Administration. Dr. Scott Hughes was named the Dean of the College of Arts and Sciences. Robert Paulson was named Chief Information Officer. Dr. Ambrose Anoro was named Dean of the College of Graduate Studies and Associate Vice President for Research. And Dr. Dolores Guerrero was named Dean of the Honors College. Thanks to the entire Texas A&M University Kingsville community for helping us to achieve these impressive accomplishments. Here's to an equally impressive fall. Go Havelinas.